This channel supports Extra Life in its efforts to raise money for the Children's Miracle Network. For more information about how to donate and join in their efforts, go to the link displayed here. Extra Life. Play games. Heal kids. What up everybody? This is your boy Black Megas and in this Let's Discuss video, we're going to talk about the image and perception of the NFL. It's something that has become a growing conversation over the last year or so, um, especially with the increased information that we've been getting about concussions, injuries, um, former players having um, co coming forward, talking about having serious problems, seeing people like Junior Seau, um, he basically killed himself um, and they said it was due to the head trauma that he experienced over his career um, a, a year or two ago, I believe. Um, things like that. Um, it started a huge um, debate in the media between fans and a lot of like non-football player, non-football fans about just what exactly um, the NFL is doing and how perverse or how unperverse they are in addressing issues. Um, recently, SNL did a clip where they made fun of how when someone gets injured and people be like, oh my God, it's horrible. And then the, they replay the injury over and over again. Um, you know, it's something that we've seen happen way too many times on TV. And I agree when there's a horrible injury, you shouldn't be repeating that over and over again. Now, Huffington Post took this and said, this is SNL showing exactly how perverse the NFL is in covering injuries. And it's like, okay, I get the perverse coverage thing, but why is this the NFL's fault? And this is not me like trying to damage control for the NFL, but me trying to understand how did they come to that conclusion from what was being shown. Um, I think for me, the error isn't in the NFL. I don't think the NFL, as soon as somebody gets hurt, calls up a TV network is like, you got to repeat this. Um, it's up to the producers of the programming on what they want to show. So if I'm a TV producer for a live sports event, or let's just say for a football game and something like this happens, it's up to me to say, okay, this is bad. We can't be showing this. Reality is that as a society, we like seeing that stuff. We love the brutality. And that's one of the reasons that the NFL kind of thrives, especially in this country. Um, violence is something that human beings have been drawn to for God knows how long. I mean, go back to the Roman days, the gladiators, you know, as inhumane as that shit is, people flooded, even the poor flooded to these arenas to get an opportunity to opportunity to see human beings try to murder each other um think about like okay nfl as a fan you get hyped over the like big hits when somebody gets that like huge hit that like jars somebody's body we all go ooh, god damn oh shit you know it's, it's an adrenaline rush or let's take it away from the nfl boxing what do we love about boxing? We love to see somebody get knocked the fuck out. The more embarrassing that knockout is, the more excited we get. Just recently, um, Deontay Wilder knocked the shit out of, I forget exactly the guy's name that was fighting, but he knocked him the fuck out and people were hyped at that. Now, did the producers show it over and over again? Yeah, but if they decided, yo, this is too violent, we're not gonna show it. You know what would happen, especially in this era, the internet era, someone would upload that and be like, yo, just like you look at Twitter right now, I guarantee you, you could find a hundred thousand, if not more, vines of someone who recorded their TV 
it took that knockout and posted it so people could see it and it probably has a tremendous amount of views we're attracted to that stuff and to blame it on the nfl is kind of like wrong um and that's kind of where i'm going with this this is like i think a lot of times when we try to um come at these organizations for establishing um certain practices like things like should the nfl have better concussion um regulation yes and they've been doing that reality check though is that a lot of these players have the mentality that yo i you know am a warrior i am comfortable with the risks and this is what i love to do so if i get a concussion i want to go back out and compete don't keep me off the field now is that a um issue that the nfl adept like they that they came up with no it's our mentality as a society competition a lot of people it, again in any all sports moving through all times it's like soldiers soldiers have that mentality that yo know, i don't want to leave my boys behind i want to go back on the battlefield we've seen um plenty of documentaries about soldiers who said that you know they had injuries but they you know they left hospitals to get back on the line because they didn't want to leave their boys. Is this a mentality that we blame on the military developing? Maybe you could if you wanted to, but the reality is that some people, when they get ingrained in certain cultures, this is what they want to do. Um, hell, outside of football, if you, if a, as a man you fell, um, you can't sit on the ground and cry about, oh, I scuffed my knee. Other dudes would be like, yo, the fuck is wrong with you? Man up. So you're going to walk that shit off and you're going to fake like you okay. It's, it's, as a society, we do things like that. It's, I can't blame an organization for things like what people are doing with the NFL for things that we do in society, period. Um, it's stuff that's been developed before the NFL came along. It's stuff that will probably last after. We, as people, have to change our culture before we can ask for these organizations to necessarily, um, quote unquote, do the right thing. Because a lot of the times they are doing the right thing. Just like the Deontay Wilder knockout. When you got knocked out, the ref didn't count to 10. He saw that this dude was possibly seriously hurt. So he got to like five or six. He's like, nope, just call the fight now. Doctors come in. Let's stabilize him. Let's take him to the hospital. Let's make sure that this guy is okay. They did the right thing in that instance. Um, NFL, when players get injured, that's what they do. You know, the concussion rule now, you know, people used to didn't take concussion serious. Now that we got more medical um, information on concussions, as soon as someone gets a sign of a head injury, and it's not perfect because there's still instances, I agree, it needs to improve because there were like that instance with the Rams game where the quarterback clearly was concussed and nobody did anything about it. That was a total big mistake, and those team doctors need to be um, taken to task for that. That being said, the rules are if someone looks like they're possibly concussed, we keep them off the field until we assess whether or not they have it. If we feel like they can cuss, you're not going back in that game. And you're possibly not playing the next game as well. Just if we think that you did, if we find out that you really did um, have a serious concussion. So they're, ta they're taking those steps. They're making strides. It's not like they're just sitting here be like, well, fuck it. Um, we don't give a fuck. I mean, the reality is the players don't give a fuck more than the NFL don't give a fuck. Because no organization wants to be constantly sued or, like, harassed for that shit. But these players, we've heard former players say before, hey, we don't care because we want to play. This is, our, this is our livelihood. This is something that we enjoy. This is our passion. We, we want to win. We're driven to keep performing no matter what. You know, it's the old, like, in, yeah, do coaches help do that yes but they're part of that culture that players buy into 
Like, are you injured? Are you hurt? That's how it goes. You know what I mean? Uh, so it, we have to make it so that in society is like it's not going to just be the NFL's job to fix the mentality. Players have to want to fix the mentality. Um, we coaches have to. It's it, it, it's a concerted effort that you just can't blame on one um, thing. Uh, and you know what? These are the choices that these people are making. I think that's another thing we need to acknowledge. Um, everybody in the world knows how scary the NFL is. And like, yo, as a parent, you can say, oh, I don't want my kid to play football. But if your kid really wants to play football, he'll find a way to do that, I'm sure. Um, denying, you know, denying them doing something that they are into because you're scared they're going to get hurt. Uh, that's very, that's a very understandable concern. But, um... Don't let people out the door <laughs> if your worry is that something might happen to them. Um, a lot of times, it would be the reaction for a lot of people. And I understand that mentality, too, because it's just like, it all comes down to choices. And it all comes down to what you are willing to accept. The NFL, yes, they make tons of money off of these people. Um putting themselves at risk and things like that. These owners make a fucking obscene amount of money and the return a lot of times isn't fair. But without people willing to endure all of this, none of this could happen. Without people who clamor to see this type of stuff happen, none of the, the money that they make would be possible. And I think that's the reality is that constantly saying, yo, NFL, you suck, NFL, you're horrible, NFL, blah, 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 blah. That's the wrong type of conversation to have. Perhaps you need to start talking to us, the fans, people. Explain to, like, I could explain to you probably better than anybody who tries to explain why we may need to change whether or not we're into football or not better as a football fan, because I have a understanding of what's going on and I'm not just going to make a blanket statement. Like I could say, you know, yes, as a society, we do need to possibly stop watching violent sports simply because we're encouraging um, human beings to put their lives at risk for money and glory by us celebrating them for doing these things, we're leading them down a path where they can end up um, a broken, like destroyed human being that have issues, complications, well beyond their careers, and that could lead to them to do possible um, horrible things in the future because of the mental damage that it could also lead to not just the physical i'm not going to sit here and say the nfl is just the horrible and they just don't give a fuck because again i it, it's it's not that the nfl doesn't care they're giving us what we want as a society that's the reality as a society boxing ufc nfl and any sport that has like violence in it wouldn't be around if there wasn't a demand for that and to in you know while we can go back and forth on the moral debate of whether or not these people should take advantage of that to profit you know that's a separate argument but the reality is they wouldn't have the opportunity to do such things if we as a society did not ask them to give us these things and that's where like i feel like the whole constant um, attack of the NFL kind of is wrong and it's kind of lame because we just start to say everything is their fault when in reality we need to take responsibility ourselves. But I guess that's just the that's just the mark of humanity. We tend not to take the responsibility and pass it on others, sadly. But anyway, hopefully um, you guys... Uh, understand what I'm saying and please leave your comments 
I would love to know your opinion on this. I hope that you actually listen to what I said before you comment. Um, but we'll see. Anyway, as always, hit me up. Let me know what you think, and I'll holler at you later. This is your boy Black Makers, and I'm out. Deuces.